It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's just us. Yo, Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Peter and Yen. Right now we're bringing it to you from the Bay of Islands. Yeah, high up in the sky. <laughs> the views here are incredible, guys. And we're going to also show you guys around the Waitangi Treaty Grounds. We're going to head over to Russell in a little bit. Yep. This is going to be an amazing episode, guys. Stay tuned. We'll let you know all about this parasailing too. Yes, let's go. here at Flying Kiwi Parasail. Prices here, $99 if you're going with two people, going up together, which is what Peter and I are doing. And if you want to spectate, it's $30 per person. Super excited for this. I've already been here quite a few times and I've been to the whole little rock, done a whole bunch of other water activities. But right now, first time doing parasailing, up. It's totally safe as well, so if you have any qualms about, you know, you can't take in too much adventure, this is just right up your alley. It's a slow ascent up, a slow descent down, and you're just sitting here chilling at a very high height, you know. <laughs> if you actually look down, okay, it's a little bit scary, but when you're looking out, that view is like incredible. <laughs> We're here with Flying Kiwi. You guys definitely need to check them out. This is a fantastic activity. Highly, highly recommended. Totally worth the $99 asking price. It's up to about 12 passengers on the boat. You're on the water for about an hour to hour and a half and you get 10 minutes air time. We are here at the Treaty of Waitangi and this is a thing that every single Kiwi should have gone to. Every single Kiwi except for this one. Throw me under the bus, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Might have lived here, you know, maybe 29-ish years and yeah. haven't, haven't gone, but what matters is we're here now, so very yeah. excited for the experience. And I've done it quite a few times, so it's good to be back here and uh, experiencing the Treaty Grounds once again. Come on, let's go show you guys around. So if you purchase a day pass, you not only get access into the Waitangi Treaty Grounds, but you also get a 50 minute guided tour, as well as access into the museum and a cultural tour as well. One of the other standouts is seeing the world's largest ceremonial war canoe, or otherwise known as a wakatoa. The Waitangi Treaty Grounds ticket prices, it's $50 for adults, children come in free, and if you're a New Zealand resident with your ID, you get 50% off, so 25 bucks. We're now at James Busby's house, and this is where the Treaty of Waitangi was actually signed. It's an important piece of Kiwi history, as on the 6th of February 1840, 500 Māori chiefs and the British signed the treaty which is now considered New Zealand's founding document. Alright guys, so we've just had that awesome tour of the Wakatoa. Yeah, that's right, we're passing uh, James Busby's house right now too. Yeah. And we're heading over to watch the cultural performance. It'll be the first time for both Peter and I, so really excited to soak up that experience and see what it's all about. But for this first part, gentlemen, I need a chief. Are there any volunteers? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ending here with the hongi or the pressing of noses and is the highest honour that we Māori can pay to another person. A big round of applause for your chief. Simply translated, may God bless each and every one of you as you continue to traverse through our beautiful country of Aotearoa, New Zealand. It's a really awesome experience, guys. If 
you are visiting New Zealand or yeah. if you're even, or even from if you're New Zealand Kiwi, yeah, and you have never done this before. Definitely something we recommend you should do. Yeah. Come and see them. It's beautiful. <laughs> After a day of activities here in Pai here, you're going to want something to eat and we've been recommended a great spot over here right on the pier and that's Charlotte's Kitchen. Let's go check this place out. This is a bit of a recharge stop and I can't wait. Got some wood fried pizzas. My one is the prosciutto pizza, one of my favourites. Oh my gosh, that is really yummy. It's a lovely thin base. You've got that delicious cheesiness and then with the saltiness of that prosciutto. Got your tomato sauce base too. That's really, really yum. So hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna flip this over to Peter now. The margarita slice. Look at the delicious cheese on that. Simple, delicious. Let's get in for a bite. This is perfection, guys. The base, as Yen said, is amazing. It's really well cooked in the wood fire oven. And then the toppings on top, even though they're simple, that's what I love about margarita pizza. They're full of flavor because it allows the cheese and the tomato to really shine. I'm gonna polish these meals off real quick. And then we're gonna head off to Russell next. We're gonna catch the ferry over with the car. So, you can either purchase the tickets on the ferry itself, but I'm gonna go into the local general store and get them from there. I just got the tickets, got return tickets for the whole car, and it was only $26. Better rush off over to the car right now because the ferry looks like it's on its way. Yo! Welcome to the Bay of Bay Islands of fact section. <laughs> and fact number one is that Russell used to be known as Okiato and... It used to be the first capital of New Zealand. Another fact is there's just over 140 islands here in the Bay of Islands. That's one of them. Final fact, the Bay of Islands is actually regarded as the birthplace of New Zealand. It's where the Treaty of Waitangi was signed. Hey guys, so behind me right now is probably one of the big reasons why I actually want to stay at the Duke of Marlborough so much. Every single time we've come to Russell, I've been so amazed by this massive big tree right behind me. I mean, look at that. That tree is huge and it's super impressive. All right, let's go to the hotel. Enough talking about the trees and stuff. But it's such a nice tree, look at this tree. It's really nice. Russell actually used to be a massive whaling station and this area, was given a nickname which wasn't so pleasant, the Howl Hole, but in order to gain some of the you know prestige back into the area, this place was changed into the name of the Duke of Marlborough, named after the richest man of the time, the Duke of Marlborough. <laughs> in the present day, the Duke of Marlborough is an awesome hotel and it's got this really old school vibe to it. It's also got a restaurant and a bar. We're in one, two, nine. One, two, nine, that's us. This is us. Welcome in. Oh, it's so, so clean and white and it's got very nice high ceilings. Very cozy as well. Kia ora guys. So I'm just testing out this bed. It feels pretty good. Oh. Here's the bathroom. It's all very nice and clean, very white and pristine. Some doors that lead out to a shared deck. So our friends actually got a very similar room to us, but rather than opening out over to kind of like a shared space area, they've got a veranda that overlooks the rest of the road. A full entree at Mains with the night and I can't wait. Okay, how about you start with that tuna tartar? Okay, so since we got back from Rarotonga, we've been really craving things like ikamata and raw fish and that kind of stuff. So I'm excited to try this. That's really, really yummy. Cheesiness and the freshness of that elephant tuna. Delicious. Yeah. Good. Zesty too. I'm really excited by my dish. I have got to get a huge amount of this pinna, a little bit of this linguine, and we'll get some hapoka as well, eh? Pinna is one of those rare things that you can put pinna on anything and it will be better. Because pinna <laughs> is so good. It's got a slightly bitter flavor and it just tastes like it's from the sea. I love it so much. It's one of my favorite things and it goes perfectly in this linguine. Let's try this good bread. Alright, cheers. 
the scent of the bread actually hits your nostrils before you even take your bite out of it. Fluffy. And taste that sweet bread. And one of the best things about hanging around in Russell is it feels like this town has kept all of this charm and pristine from an era that's gone by, you know? Wow, you're getting fancy there. <laughs> yeah. Main set of fries. So I've got a vegetarian dish actually. I've got the grinning gecko halloumi. Halloumi cheese, nice and salty. Has that crispy outside, very nice. The kale is pretty strong. So it's a lot of kale. I like kale, so that's good. I get the chickpeas, but I don't know if they just fell off my, fell off my floor. <laughs> That's a nice dish. And I have got the confit duck cooked for eight hours straight. Some pure fatty goodness. And it's spread over some lentils, cabbage, and some cherry puree. And it's got a little side of Sichuan juice. The duck is actually really smoky. So I think it's been twice cooked. And you can definitely get all the amazing flavors out of that. The first time it's cooked, it's smoked. The second time it's cooked, then it's made with coffee. The skin is really crispy, and then the inside of the meat is very tender and it has that subtle smoky flavor. That is delicious. Overall, our dining experience here at the Duke of Marlboro, I would say, has been excellent. Yeah, it's been a really great meal. Guys, <laughs> so. An amazing stay here in the Bay of Islands. Yes, our journey's come to an end for this episode. <laughs> yeah, we hope you've enjoyed it. I think you definitely should come here. Just to check out the uh, Treaty of Waitangi grounds, an amazing experience. It's good to know where our nation was formed. So that was nice. While you're here, you might as well stop off to some of the islands, just like how we're here in Russell right now. Get some delicious food, maybe even stay at the Duke of Marlborough as well. <laughs> yeah, we've had a very enjoyable trip. Totally recommend it. And uh, if you've enjoyed this content, you know what to do, guys. Yeah. Please give us those thumbs ups. They really help us to keep on going with these videos. Yeah, and uh, if leave you like us a it, comment. Leave us a comment. Maybe subscribe even. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank right. you once again to all our loyal watchers and anyone who's new. Welcome to the channel. Yes. We will catch you next time. See ya. See you.